Well, it was the first trophy of the Pep Guardiola era and a competition, therefore, that will always have a special place in his heart. This is a manager and these are players whose appetite for success is forever insatiable. An away tie at Spurs is a tough assignment, especially in the midst of a schedule which sees subsequent trips to Bournemouth, Sporting Lisbon and Brighton. It is still a match the Blues want to win and will be extremely determined to do so. Spurs opt to go back to Vicario, who doesn't normally start in domestic cup football, but I guess it shows the significance of this game for Ange Postikoglu that he is given the starting berth tonight. I guess had they not lost at Crystal Palace on Sunday afternoon, we may well have seen a less strong side, but here they come with Kulusevski. Long ball out to Werner. Werner's in the box, and Werner's put it past Ortega, and Spurs lead. Timo Werner, a sweeping move down the right. Kulusevski crossed it to the far, and Timo Werner from just inside the box sweeps it past Ortega, and the first attack of any menace in the game, and Spurs lead 1-0. The City fans, and there's thousands of them behind the goal, will be hoping to see more goals at that end of the pitch in the second half. Foden can't get to the ball, Bentancur did. Bentancur helps it on, and down the right they go, and into the box. A good cross, actually, for Werner, and Diaz smothered it well, and it goes out for the second corner of the contest. You see those... White shirts lining up as they just try and go short. Yep, Kulusevski works it well, and then the shot comes in, 2-0. Papasar has just bent one round Ortega, and Spurs are two up. It was another imaginative corner, and it was guided backwards, and Papasar bent the ball around a couple of City players, and round Ortega, and it is Spurs 2, City 0. Pep Guardiola standing, pacing up and down his technical area. City really need a goal sooner rather than later. They don't want Spurs to be this comfortable for long periods, especially going in at half-time. Matthias Nunes now in the left wing position, tackled by Bentancur, picked up by Romero, guided forward but straight to Makati. Matthias Nunes back to Gundogan. Good spell this for City. Can they find a goal to put themselves back in the tie? Savino on the edge of the area and he bends it round and too far and wide of the goal. Nice idea, but uh, just wide of the target. Brilliant spell this for City. Can they find a goal? Stones pops it out wide. Good ball. Savinho attacks down the right. Inside he comes. On it goes to Makati. Back to Savinho. Into the gap towards Gundogan. Gundogan on the turn. Can't get his shot away. Has to turn again. Looks to his left-hand side. Plays it to Ake. Ake back to Nunes in the left-wing position. Little scoop ball. Foden on the volley over the bar. Wonderful football fell for Foden, it came over his shoulder and he had to hit it first time, got underneath it, chance goes. Tries a spectacular just over the bar, it would have been some goal, some move from all the team. City win it high up again, McAtee on the edge of the area, just caught and the referee's given a free kick to the Blues, very, very central shooting position and again, the intensity of the City press working their magic. So important, this. It's got to be right. It's got to hit the target. Who's it going to be? Whistle sounds. Foden over the bar. Yeah, it's well over as well. third of four added minutes City still probing looking for the goal that will put them back in this time 
They trail 2-0 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Gundogan away from Kulusevski, on it goes to O'Reilly. O'Reilly advancing forward, plays it to Savinho. Savinho on the right wing position, clips in a good ball. And on the far side, Matias Nunes! Well, if ever a team deserved a goal, it was City. They've been outstanding in the last 15, 20 minutes or so. They've been asking questions, and right on the stroke of half-time, Matias Nunes gets his goal. He scored in the third round against Watford. He scored in the fourth round against Spurs. And the Blues are back in the game, and boy, did they deserve it, Michael. We talked about half-time, a good time to score, and City get it. That changes so much in this cup tie. McAtee with some brilliant skills in central midfield and the Blues have a good counter-attack here. O'Reilly down the right, helps it on to Savinho. Savinho on the edge of the area. Savinho held up by your doggy. Back he goes to Lewis, Lewis on to Kovacic. Kovacic wide to Savinho. Savinho pops in a ball towards Foden. Foden can't get to it. City try to win it on the edge and they don't, they don't. And Bentancur does. And now, all of a sudden, Timo Werner's through on goal. He's bearing down on Ortega. Timo Werner! So well, that's the Timo Werner I'm used to watching. And he puts the chance well wide of the goal. But the worrying thing was that the Blues were caught flat-footed and City were very thin on numbers and Werner missed it. Yeah, unbelievable counter. It's very, very close. It just almost skims that top right outside of the post. Now the Spurs have lost the ball. City have it on the edge of the area. The ball's with Jacob Wright. Two oh, inches, inches wide from Jacob Wright. The City fans behind the goal were up. They thought it was going in. So did Jacob Wright. He missed by maybe a foot. That was a brilliant effort. Spurs haven't had many attacks in the second half. Vardiol heads it away. Picked up, though, by Gray. Gray down the right side, bounces off him, City throw. Seven and a half minutes to go at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Spurs two, City one. Can the Blues send the game to penalties? They'll certainly take that from the position that they're in. Vardio will take a throw deep in City's half of the field. Spurs supporters doing what they can to cheer their side home. Vardio with the throw. Stones on the chase. Oh, Richarlison! Oh, my goodness! It all went very badly wrong and City have to clear it desperately. A throw back by Gvardiol went straight to Richarlison and Richarlison's denied by Ortega. Ortega on those positions, 1v1s, he reads it, stays big. A huge mistake. We're starting to get into that nervous time and what a big miss. Mikey Moore clears it, but straight to Gvardiol. Gvardiol tries to play in low, City corner. What a game this is. Can City get an equaliser? Two and a half minutes remaining. Can the Blues take it to penalties? Their second half efforts were certainly merited. Jacob Wright will take the corner. Wright whips it in at pace. Vicario's nowhere near it and drops it and it's off the line. O'Reilly hooked it, goal bound. Bissouma cleared it off the line. It's a great clearance, you know, it's just sneaking in that corner. But where's the goalkeeper going? Nowhere near it, but clearance off the line. City come again. Those Spurs supporters now realise that as the team are really under it. They are, and forward comes Kovacic, darting into Spurs territory. Keeps on going. Lovely ball, Jacob Wright. Oh, it's wide, it's wide. He steadied himself, he couldn't connect truly. And it's wide, it was another half chance, that's all. But Jacob Wright, oh, unlucky. Well, the relief around this stadium is palpable. City Academy players play a huge part and they pushed a senior Spurs team right to the very wire. The Blues go out of the Carabao Cup, but my goodness, the number of positives they'll take from this is endless, but they go out to Spurs 2-1.